The Syrian military says Israeli jets have carried out an airstrike inside Syria, killing two people. But there are conflicting accounts of what was the target. The U.S. and regional security sources say Israeli aircrafts attacked a convoy of trucks carrying weapons towards the border with Lebanon. The Syrian state news agency, though, says Israeli jets have bombed a military scientific research center in Jamraya on the outskirts of the capital, Damascus. A U.S. official has confirmed to CNN that Israeli planes did perform a strike along the Syrian-Lebanese border. Now, they're saying that the strike actually was targeted at a convoy carrying parts for SA-17 missiles. Now, as far as the Lebanese military, they're saying that, indeed, there were Israeli planes in the sky doing sorties uh, throughout very early morning on Tuesday, but they have not confirmed any strike along the border. Now, we heard from Syria's military through the Syrian uh, TV station, the Syrian-run government station, and we can tell you what they're saying. They're saying something a bit different, saying that Israel did indeed strike inside the country, closer to Damascus, and that Israel planes actually struck a research facility. The official Syrian account of what happened in the early hours of Wednesday was announced on state television. They say that Israeli jets flew in fast, below radar level, and bombed a military research center, killing two workers and causing damage to several buildings. Some Syrian rebel groups, however, dispute the government's version of events, saying their forces attacked the site. The Syrians describe the site at Jamraya, just northwest of Damascus, as a scientific center aimed at raising the level of self-defense. It's widely believed by analysts outside Syria that chemical chemical weapons are stored there. There's been somewhat confused reporting because the uh, Damascus government have uh, confirmed that uh, their uh, site was attacked by Israel. Initial reports put it southeast of the capital, which would have put it, which would have implied a second strike by the Israelis. We've got independent confirmation uh, and indeed from the United States, that there was indeed an Israeli airstrike, at least one, inside Syria. But most of the information now tending to triangulate the uh, target area as northeast of Damascus in the uh, roads leading in towards Syria. Now, this is the, an area that is used to smuggle weapons, particularly uh, what from the Israeli perspective would be strategically important weapons such as uh, shorter ship weapons that Hezbollah have used successfully against Israeli shipping in the past, and critically anti-aircraft weapons that could change the balance of power, uh, taking away Israel's dominance of the air in the region. Uh, but equally, uh, the uh, real problem and fear for Israel is the movement of chemical weapons. Now, uh, this area was subjected, it's called Jamraya, uh, was subjected by a, an attack by the rebels of Syria recently and it may be that the uh, Damascus government is trying to make it look more of a victim of Israeli airstrikes than it really is. At the moment we have only one confirmed airstrike. It's in the rough area uh, that the Damascus regime is talking about northwest of Damascus. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said on Sunday that weapons were flowing out of Syria and that Israelis must be fully prepared. He's concerned that Syrian-made missiles and chemical weapons may reach Hezbollah. The group is a sworn enemy of the Jewish state.